Topic our news at noon. What began as a response to a suicidal call left four police officers in a firefight with a man this morning. The man was shot and killed by police in a neighborhood on the north side of Fort Wayne. That's where we find News Channel 15's Adam Widener. He joins us live now with the latest on this extremely dangerous situation. Adam, where are you and what happened? Well, Pat and Tara, I'm standing here in the Wheat Ridge neighborhood. As you can see behind me, police have several homes blocked off in what sounds like a scene straight out of a movie. They're investigating a crime that left a 22-year-old man dead and countless other officers and neighbors in danger. At least four police officers responded to the suicide call at the 7700 block of Weymouth Court. Police say the man was living with his parents. The parents called and said he was using a mind-altering drug and had access to a gun. When police went to, into his house, the 22-year-old man opened fire on them. Officers retreated. Police say the man actually followed them out, continuing to fire shots at them, then got into a car and tried to run officers over. Police say the 22-year-old pulled into a nearby driveway, got out of the car. He and police shot back and forth, and he was eventually shot and killed. You know, this is unusual for the Fort Wayne Police Department, and I think it's an example of what we have to deal with, with, again, the number of firearms we're encountering, and in this case, with obviously an unstable individual. Now, Chief York tells me that this is the second time police have shot and killed someone this week and the fourth time this year. The Fort Wayne police chief says that he can't remember Fort Wayne ever having four of these in a year, let alone two in a week. And ironically, we've been asking the question this month, asking, uh, is Fort Wayne really a dangerous place? We've been asking that this month. Police tell me that this is an isolated incident, but there still are a lot of people impacted in this area. There are uh, homes with uh, what are said to be bullet holes that they're looking into in this uh, neighborhood. So they're looking into that. I'm joined now by Megan Royce with some live team coverage. Megan, you've been talking with neighbors. What are they saying? Well, with all this happening, Adam, around 8 a.m., you can imagine several people were out and about. Some saw everything happen. Others down the street, they just heard the gunshots. Let's go back out to the scene now. Um, we talked with neighbors and they say this isn't the first time that police have come out to this home around the same time last year. Uh, the man that police shot and killed today turned the gun on himself in his parents backyard. That time he was rushed to the hospital and received psychiatric care. A neighbor that we talked to just down the street told me that um, he had talked with the boy's parents and that they had a false sense that he was improving. Uh, his parents saw everything because they were home. Normally they work, but they were both home. Uh, they were both outside um, later on with their boy and the police. So it was a sad case. We also talked with a woman who lives just a few doors down from where everything happened. She said there were so many shots fired that it sounded like firecrackers. And we're continuing to talk with neighbors this afternoon and learn more. And so you can hear more from them later. We're also going to be looking into this uh, incident that happened this morning, looking into what exactly police responded to and everything that went uh, that went down here. And we're going to be bringing the latest as soon as possible on Wayne.com and tonight at 5 and 6. With live team coverage, Megan Royce, I'm Adam Widener, News Channel 15. I want to thank you both.